Well, our pullets are ready to go over to the uh, chicken yard. They're gonna graduate out of the grow pen and uh, they're ready to go. So today I'm gonna build us a transfer cage that we can put in the back of the Kubota and I can pick up the birds from the pullet pen and haul them over to the, um, to the chicken yard, you know, four or five at a time. And I can also make it large enough to where I can use it for turkeys as well. You know, whenever we're harvesting our turkeys, I'll have to haul them from the turkey yard all the way over here to, um, to the processing station. And also when we uh, have our uh, meat chickens, our meat birds, they're gonna be in the chicken tractor that's way out in the, uh, you know, in the garden complex at the um, east end, northeast end of the co uh, garden complex. So we have to drive way over there and pick them up and bring them way back over here, opposite ends of the property. So it'll get a lot of use. Um, I could have used a uh, large dog crate. You know, I, I saw one that I thought would work and get the job done. It was about 90 bucks. But um, I said, well, you know what? I think I'll just draw one up and make it myself because I have enough scrap left over in the shop that I can build it myself out of leftovers. So that's the way we're gonna go. So anyway, these girls, they're getting pretty big. What you doing, girl? They're ready to go over to the, to the chicken pen. So we'll be uh, going over to the shop and uh, I'll show you the uh, plan that I got drawn up over there to um, build this little thing. Get off of me. But anyway, we'll head over to the shop and uh, take a look at the sketch and uh, I'll show you what we got ahead of us today. So I'll meet you over at the shop. This video is a DIY, a transfer cage for chickens and turkeys. Well, welcome back. We're over here at the shop and uh, I got us a little sketch drawn up. A very simple plan that uh, we can use to um, make our little um, transfer cage for our chickens and turkeys. So step on up, let's, let's go over this together so we see what the day's plan is. Okay, here's our little sketch. Not really a lot to it, but it will definitely get the job done. Uh, this is a top view of the, of the unit. And this section AA is right here. That's looking at the front side of the unit. And then I got a section BB right here looking at the left side of the unit. That's section BB right here to show us the profile of the unit. So here we go. The top, front, left side. I'm going to make this, um, you know, out of uh, two by fours and uh, I'm going to, um, I just happen to have pressure treated two by fours left over. So I'm going to use pressure treated, which is okay because I can store this thing out in a moist area, you know, like in the barn that uh, will be subjected to um, dampness. So I, that's even better, but I don't guess I really needed to make it out of pressure treated. It just so happens that's what I have left over. So that's what I'm going to go with. But anyway, the thing's pretty simple. It's uh, about 30 inches by 20 inches and I made it 30 inches high. That way I can cram me a couple of roosters in here when I, I mean uh, turkeys in here, when I transfer them from the turkey pen back over to the processing station when we, when we harvest them. And uh, that's, you know, 30 inches about the minimum for them big old turkeys. I might can only get one or two in here at a time, but that's okay. They, they take me a little bit more time to harvest than they do you know, six, eight chickens at a time. So this that's about the right size. It fits in the back of my little Kubota pretty easily. And um, me and Nancy can pick it up um, ourselves and put it in and out of the, the little Kubota. So anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it, um, you know, the shape that I just described, and I'm gonna cover it with a uh, hardware cloth on all the, um, these three sides and the top and on the the bottom i'm going to put a piece of um, quarter inch plywood um, just so i can keep poop and stuff chicken manure out of the back of the truck because when you transfer them you know they're going to they're going to dro uh, leave droppings in there and i don't really want to have to clean that out too so i just i put a little piece of plywood in here 
And uh, when I get the thing built, um, I'm looking at putting a, a, a plywood front door on it with a little gate latch so I can open it and shut it real fast when I s stick them in there. And um, that's really about it. It's not much to it, so uh, we'll put this little sketch on our Facebook page and also on our community tab of our YouTube channel in case you just want to build something similar to this for your own homestead. So let's all go ahead and get this done. And uh, as soon as we get this done, we'll be able to uh, transfer them uh, the pullets out of the pullet grow pen over and graduate to the um, the chicken yard and their big chicken building. So we're looking forward to doing that's a big milestone here. So let's get the job done and let's get to it.
Well, I hope, hope you had fun hanging out with me this morning while we built this little transfer cage for our turkeys and chickens. It came out okay, I guess, you know, for just for using scraps. And uh, that saved myself a little bit of money on having to go and buy a big old one of them large uh, dog crates. This will work just fine. But anyway, I just used a piece of three quarter inch plywood on the front. Then on the inside, you know, I should have enough room inside here to um, put in at least five chickens, which is all I really want to do because I only harvest five at a time when I'm processing. I'll do five, then I go get five born, and I'll do five, then I go, you know, so I don't have them stacked up over there. Um, so the inside's good enough for that. It looks weird because it's tall and the chicken's only this big, but remember, I can put two turkeys in here as well. So whenever I go to harvest my turkeys, I should be able to put two turkeys in there. It'll be a little tight for them, but remember, it's just a short ride and they don't have to live in it. So they're only in it for a very short period of time. So um, this will be good um, to transfer meat birds from uh, the chick chicken tractors as well as moving birds from the pullet pen out. Um, you know, the grow pen out to either the chicken yard or the turkey yard. And um, I think it'll come in handy. Uh, I put the expanded uh, um, hardware cloth on the back three sides, you know, on the back and the two sides and on the top, you know, so I've got, you know, plenty of ventilation for them. I put a little one quarter inch plywood bottom in it and uh, the door just has just a, a, a gate latch on it. So you just shut it like that. And I put a, a couple of handles on each side so me and Nancy can pick it up and, and put it in the back of the Kubota. So uh, I think we are ready to uh, move pullets uh, in a couple of days over from the, from the grow pen out into the turkey uh, and out into the chicken yard. So we're looking forward to that. So if you like our channel, please subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. So until me and Nancy see you next time when we're moving chickens around, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.